hacked off. Sony Music Ireland is the latest site to be targeted by hackers. Here's what they did. Music fans woke up to alarming news this morning. The news section of Sony Music Ireland's site reporting that two members of the script had died. Another story claimed X Factor was for the stupid. It turns out hackers were responsible for posting the fake news alerts that left Sony feeling a little embarrassed. It's extremely irresponsible, uh, particularly in relation to the kind of information that was put up on the Sony website. But it's also indicative of how easy uh, it is to attack an organisation or how vulnerable organisations are. Sony Music Ireland won't comment officially, but redirected visitors to the company's Facebook page today. It's the latest in a string of cyber attacks taking place over the past few months. Well, there's generally two motives. One is it could be based on money, where this could be organised crime. They're trying to attack the organisation to affect their share price uh, and then monetise it in that way by short-selling stock. Or alternatively, it could be just a bunch of kids using tools that they've downloaded. Today, a new global effort to crack down on cybercrime was launched, but not everyone's convinced. Nobody I know feels, feels threatened by it at, the, at this point. Whether or, not that, whether or not that will change, I don't know, but at the moment, um, it seems largely to be an act of being seen to do something um, in for the sake of public opinion rather than an effective measure. The International Cyber Security Protection Alliance will have its work cut out for it. Like it or not, it looks like Twitter is here to stay for a while. The social networking site says more people are logging on to share their lives. Twitter says its users now post an average of 200 million tweets a day. That means users are collectively writing the equivalent of a 10 million page book every day. US Vice President Joe Biden has become the latest leader to join the Twitterverse. He already has over 6,000 followers. If you want to follow him, his handle is at VP. Check out these new bionic glasses that may help blind people see again. Researchers at Oxford University are developing a pair of smart spectacles that use tiny cameras and a pocket computer to alert wearers to objects ahead. Although they won't give blind people their sight back, they should be able to make day-to-day -day ventures easier for them. Thanks to the specs, they will be able to navigate shopping centres and streets and could even read bus numbers. The glasses might be available as soon as 2014. Want to see what a year's worth of makeup on one face looks like? Of course you do, and here it is. Dutch artists painted a model's face with 365 days worth of makeup. They said they carried out the experiment to see how much is needed to go from a natural look to an outrageous one. The process took nine hours to complete. In total, seven bottles of foundation were used, three lip gloss pens, and two bottles of blush. I think she could do with a bit more mascara though. Well, that's you up to date with everything that's buzzing online today. Back over to you, Carla.